What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers. One week away. One single week away till this game finally releases and we all get to get our hands on it and play it and hopefully enjoy it. We're just one week away. But the point is, since we're one week away, we're in for a pretty big week. If you don't... Well, yeah, I mean, we are in for a big week. And what I mean by this is... I mean, if you think about it, it's uh, kind of common sense, but I still wanted to discuss this anyway. But it is a big week, nonetheless. So, over the past couple weeks, we do know that they've been dropping character moveset breakdown videos, which is great. We get to finally see some of our favorite characters in action. But the thing is, we're still missing five official characters that have been revealed. We're still missing five that have not had their character moveset video uh, released to us yet. Plus, then we still got the three characters that have not officially been revealed by Game Miller Ludosity yet. So, technically, we have eight characters in total. But if you if you think about it, we have today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then, of course, Tuesday. I don't really think they would upload anything on Tuesday. I think they would try to do all of it before the game comes out. So, we have seven days. All right, seven days, but we have eight characters and not only do we have character move set breakdowns, hopefully, but we're also going to have to try to get, like, the character reveals, right? Again, three characters. Three characters. I'll try to avoid spoilers, uh, but uh, we should know. If you've been following for a little bit of time, you probably know the, the whole roster, but I'll try to keep it spoiler-ish free. So, eight characters nonetheless, and five of them for sure. We have not seen Zim yet. We have not seen Potter Toastman, Reptar, Nigel, or Oblina. We have not seen their moveset breakdown. Odds are maybe one of them or two of them get uploaded today, which would be great. But uh, at the time of recording, we have not seen that yet. So there's five. And then, of course, like I said, the three mystery characters. So how do you do this? How do you how do we fit all this into one week? My thing is, let's start with the character reveals. And I say reveal all the characters. Do one big reveal trailer for the final three characters. Do it on Friday, this Friday. This is me. This is just how I would do it. All right. This is not official. It's not from I'm just saying this is how I think it would be. It would benefit. Right. I don't want to wait till Monday, literally the day before. Let's build up some hype uh, beforehand. So do it on Friday. Do your two, three, four minute video of the final three characters. Do that. Right. Cool. Friday is taken care of. Big hype going into the weekend. Right. As this, as soon as the weekend ends, guess what? The game is coming out. So. Do the re uh, reveal trailer for all three characters. One trailer, or you could do, I guess, three individual trailers, I suppose, if you want. Either way, reveal the final three characters Friday. That gives us Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. So, uh, mystery character one, Saturday. Mystery character two, Sunday. Mystery character three, Monday. All characters have been revealed. All characters will get their showcases before the game comes out. Perfect. All right? So, that leaves us with those five Earlier ones, Zim, Potter, Toastman, Reptar, Nigel, and Oblina. So how do we do this? So technically, if Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are taken up, well, how do we fit these three, or sorry, how do we fit these five characters into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Well, we're going to have to double up on some of them, which is fine. So as an example, at the time of recording, none of these characters have been, re uh, their movesets have not been revealed yet, so odds are something at least one thing comes out today. So, for example, let's say Zim's moveset comes out today. Tuesday is taken care of. Now, move on to Wednesday. Now we're going to have to double up. Say, for example, Potter Toastman and Reptar, they come out on Wednesday. Why them? There's both serial mascots. Who cares why? Just reveal two of them on Wednesday. And then uh, Thursday's open for Nigel and Oblina. There you go. So we know the 15, so, uh, a fit, or sorry, 17. We know the 17 official characters that have been officially revealed. We got their movesets, which brings us to Friday, like I said. Then we get the reveal. So, you're kind of slowly building up throughout the week, right? Alright, character reveals, character reveals, character reveals, or sorry, character movesets, character moveset, character moveset, and then the big reveal, and then you reveal all their movesets in the next couple days after that. Builds up the hype right to the game. We're all excited. Great. There's another piece of information, though that some of us will be keeping an eye out for, and that would be for PlayStation users. Now, why is PlayStation specifically? Well, I did make a video last week, I think. Two weeks? I think it was last week. But uh, about this game, Nickelodeon also overall, possibly, 
possibly not confirmed, but possibly being a PlayStation Plus game for October. Why does this work? Because I'm pointing at my TV, you can't see it, sorry. But currently on the shop for PlayStation, it's still not uh, available for pre-order. It's still, it just says wish list. If this, if you could pre-order right now, mine would say pre-ordered. I keep pointing, I'm sorry. But mine would say pre-ordered and probably already, I would already have it pre-downloaded and ready to go. But no, it's not, it's still wish list. So why is it wish list? Why is it still not up on the PlayStation Store for pre-order? Again, going back to the PlayStation Plus, possibility theory thing, maybe it happens. But there is a rumor, and this might end up coming true, but for now I'll say rumor. But there's a rumor going around that uh, the PlayStation Plus games for October have leaked, I guess, and it ends up being Hell Let Loose, Mortal Kombat X, and PGA Tour 2K21. So if that comes to fruition, well, it doesn't look like PlayStation All-Stars is going to... Or <laughs> PlayStation All-Stars, where am I going with that? No, it doesn't look like Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is going to be a PlayStation Plus game. Then again, maybe this thing is fake and Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is PlayStation Plus. I don't know. It, it could happen. But we, got, we have to wait. And uh, Wednesday will be the official day because typical timeline when uh, Sony reveals the next month's play, um, PlayStation Plus games. It's always the Wednesday before the Tuesday. So it's the so everything PlayStation Plus games always come out the first Tuesday. The Wednesday before that is when uh, we get the official confirmation from Sony themselves of what will be. So this upcoming Wednesday, so tomorrow, we'll get the official confirmation, or we should, based on like almost every other recent pattern for uh these reveals so tomorrow will be uh, interesting for playstation users nonetheless to see if this is officially going to be free or if we're just going to have to buy it i'm sure many of us will not mind buying it anyway because uh, we already plan to get it but uh yes wednesday will be interesting nonetheless big week tons of character move set reveals should be incoming the final three characters should be revealed before next tuesday if they could, if they don't get revealed i don't see some people are saying maybe maybe save that until after. Maybe save the reveals until after the game comes out. Why? That makes absolutely no sense, right? I I, I seen a very brief conversation about this, and I, I could not wrap my mind around why that would make sense. Why would you save the final three character reveals after the game releases? If the game releases, everybody's going to know the roster. Why wouldn't you let everybody know the roster beforehand? Every character is going to be unlocked from the start, so... Yeah, do it before the game comes out. That just logically makes more sense, but maybe that's just me. Either way, I don't know. Just a big week of news should be coming. Tons of movesets, hopefully reveals, and maybe PlayStation Plus free game. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye out for Wednesday. But that is pretty much it for today. Uh, just a common sense video. Most of us probably knew this already, but uh, either way, I'm just excited. Big week of news ahead. Should be. Either way, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.